What are moon murders? It's popular in the four moon murders. It's only less exposed, anyway. Yeah, they really should have redone like some high-res textures for those little door the handles. Case, oh. But we have a problem. The examiner received the new letter today. Do you mind if I take a look? Ah, the days when ties had so many different variants. Go right ahead. Back when they were a natural part. Been rinsed in your daily outfit. Like the previous letter, so I can't lift a print. Use them to start a barbecue, though. Gotta look on the bright side, right? No one else but the killer knew about this message. Mm hmm. Okay, so this is unique to the Black Dahlia. That's something someone could have got. Well, I suppose someone could have gotten it from evidence. Looking up in wonder to heaven, using a long and I hit myself within a fountain in a public square, where I lay like the reflex of the moon. Charming. More Shelley, I'm assuming, yeah? Cole probably just said that, I wasn't paying attention. Percy Shelley? I assume. I mean, I assume Shelley was a female poet, but. Eh, yeah, guess not. Suffer woes, which hope thinks infinite, to forgive wrongs darker than death or night. Sounds like something the Riddler would say to Batman. It really, really does. Hmm. Not bad, not great. Yeah. Very nice, I suppose. Note is from the Dahlia Maniac. He definitely also killed Teresa Terrell. Mal and I agree. But where does that leave us? If this oh, is shit, the Dahlia, a paddle? and he is responsible for the Terrells murder, not to mention the Moloch. Hang on a moment, Skipper. Let me finish, Rusty. We have five birds in hand and none in the bush. The department will not survive a scandal if we have to let them all go without catching a fiend first. Your careers would be over for a start, gentlemen. Oh, just ours, I'm assuming. Looking in wonder. Oh, You're the one who signed off on an old dickhead. I'm going down, Captain Irish. I'm taking you with me. Square. You like that stuff? What is it supposed to it's mean? Supposed to... Forget what it's supposed to... What does he want? It's... Where are you going with this, Cole? He's obviously taunting us. He believes he's far more intelligent than we are. Okay. It's some kind of story, right? A guy that God hates chains him up. It's an allegory, Rusty. A what? story with two meanings. A symbolic meaning, but that's what he wants us to think. Could he be using it literally? Within a fountain in a public square? Could it be that easy? Could somebody tell me what the fuck is going on? The fountain in Pershing Square. Come on. Why that particular yeah, fountain? Thanks, Ray. I, mean, I, I don't know the topography of LA, but sure there's got to be more public squares and more fountains. In my in the city next to me, there's like three of the damn things. In different parts of the damn city, so. Ooh, new outfit, it says. But what new outfit? Ooh, the outsider, apparently. Okay. Outfit. We have this one, which I'm already wearing. Hmm. Doesn't look any real different. I already had that. That's what I started with, wasn't it? Hmm. Oh, let's take another look at these. I'm pretty sure that's the outfit I started in. How did I unlock that? Oh, wait, was. Hmm. Hey! Fuck you! <laughs> Random Tourette's guy. Either that or the voice of my audience. We don't want to see you, Fashion Express. Get on with the damn game. Which I will. But first, I'm gonna walk around and find a decent car, because, you know. This car's so blase. We need a better car. You have to start finding some of those hidden ones in the gas stations. So apparently some of these gas stations have like hidden rooms or hidden garages around the back. So I'm gonna go have a little walk around and see what I can find. I mean I don't think that one does. At least I can't see anything that looks hidden. It's supposed to have a big like um police logo on it. So we're back in a sec. You think that's ah, funny? I had to walk literally halfway across the city, and yes, Rusty, it was fun to watch you jog the entire way. Get your exercise on, fat boy. Jesus Christ, I found the 1940s Batmobile. Okay. Okay, I was topical with the Batman stuff earlier. Who knew? Yeah, we're taking this. You drive. I need to go over the case. We are taking this. Ridiculously tiny window that you don't be able to see out the back of properly. All those cases, Rusty. What have I been telling you all along? We've got to get this guy. I know. Enough women have died. Yeah, and it's our asses on the line too, Phelps. You heard what the captain said. Look how cool this car Martin is. is not going to take responsibility for all those bad convictions. He looks so retro-futuristic, you know? 
Let's just get this sick pervert and have it done with. Should be a little red light on the floor blinking back and forth. I wonder if that's a real car. I mean, I, I'm assuming all of these are real cars. I mean, most of them are. I'm wondering whether this one is actually from a comic book or some such. I kind of think you're getting video games, like little nods towards memorabilia of the time and such. Pershing Square, eh? This seriously can't be the only square in the entirety of LA that has a fountain in it. I mean, I'm assuming we've been directed here because it's relevant to the video game, but even so. And where are you? Right up top. Surprised you could get purchased to climb there, but whatever. Really a bad time not to have water physics on your clothes either. There is a cave all overgrown with trailing odorous plants, which a curtain out of trailing odorous plants which curtain out the day. Thank you, Cole. Hmm. Fountain, fountain of frozen tears, long diamond spires hanging down. Okay, if something dangles and sparkles is involved, as well as plants and a cave. Elizabeth Short, Betty Short, Black Dahlia. Hmm, there's no Black Dahlia you're killing. Elizabeth Short, Social Security card. Jesus Christ. That's not all. There's another stanza from Shelley. On a fountain. I know how it's not wet and ruined by now. Decide. Oh, you're kidding me. Like three quarters of the way into the game, suddenly I actually have to do. Yep, I actually have to figure things out myself. Like three quarters of the way into the Cole just auto figuring it. Okay. I have no familiarity with the topography of LA as I've already stated, so this could take a while. And three wrong visits later, we finally get the cutscene that means I'm presumably in the right place. Like, literally, like three different places that are uh, all said quite clearly, uh, mentioning plants and caves and other bits and other ends. I mean, the library had some very misleading stuff as well in its description. There you go, there's the hanging silver spires, the chandelier, okay. And the thing up top has a picture of a garden on it. I don't think this really technically qualifies as a cave, though. Very loose interpretation, you know? Mm. Yeah, you can't really get... And the camera's not cooperating, so you can't really get a good angle of it from here, in here, but there's actually a guard of mural up there. Just have to trust me on that. Detectives, LAPD. This is very important, sir. How do we get to the top of the chandelier? You what? Have a little faith, pal. We're in a real hurry. Head up to the top floor. There's an access panel and a ladder in the maintenance room. Even in the Hall of Records, don't ever need to show any proof that you are who you say you are. I know it should slow down the pace of the game, so I should keep getting warrants and showing badges and papers and such, but even so. The amount of shit Cole and Cole get away with is just... It's kind of out there, you know? Right, maintenance. Maintenance? No, apparently that's just electrical maintenance, that's not... That's not the one. Nobody's allowed in the electrical room. Don't want anyone fiddling with all the tubes. Hmm, oh, that door's open at least, that's... That's a good start. The records room. I think when people just sort of hanging out. I know there wasn't a lot to do back in the day, but even so. Oh. 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 Oh, please. There we go. Like handling a greased pig, it really is. You know, that probably had. Oh. Please move in the direction I'm telling you to, please, buddy. I, I don't have a lot of patience right now, I gotta say. If this mission is the one people have told me about, then that's probably not a good time to not have a lot of patience, but. Every, what's the point of being able to enter this entire record facility? Oh god, is it going to be like a bit later in the game where I have to find a specific record all by myself? Please don't say that's going to be a thing. We just model this on the off chance that somebody would want to walk up and down this aisle of identical files. No, oh, whatever. Okay, maintenance door. Maintenance door. Nope. Nope. Uh, yep, yeah, it's always the last door you come to. And Rusty's just there, just to really Go. rub it in. He's been waiting there this entire time. You sack of shit, Rusty. No, oh, never mind. Rusty, it's always the last door you try, isn't it? I'm going out I'm a tires rib, walk out. Oh! Well, I lost my hat again. 
game tells me you need to push left and right to balance. Just as some coal instantly goes flying. Thank you for that game. So helpful. So very helpful. No, not really. What we got here? Piece of candy? Deirdre Muller's missing watch. You know that at a glance? Dear God, man. You're giving away the whole photographic memory thing there, Colbot. This evidence was logged. Temples high, I'm Manzir and I. You stop talking just as I try to do so, Cole. Where have I seen that? Yeah, uh, mm. Oh! That's highly unlikely that every single guy drop would break just at that moment. What the? Why is. This make, what? Why is me leaning forward making the Chandler go. Backward, and me leaning backward, making it go forward. If I'm pushing my weight backward, that should make it swing. What? This is very counterintuitive. I'm having to push. What? I have to pull back to make it go forward, and then push forward to make it go back. I'm sorry, that makes no sense, game. That's not how momentum works. Oh, whatever. In this game, you know, this little mini game, so many times in various video games. Last time, famously in Final Fantasy IX. It's that time it actually made sense. For your body weight left to go left, for it right to go right, instead of this reverse nonsense. No, oh, whatever. I have to point out, surely the guidelines would just let to keep the chandelier still. It wouldn't be holding it up. That was too close. Yeah, well, the higher you climb, the further you fall. Let's get out of here. Another Dahlia clue? No. A yellow gold wristwatch. A molder dame. Yes. And a scrap of the poem. Another location, if I can work it out. So there was a Dahlia clue. So you were talking out your ass again, Cole. Okay. Game. Game. Please. Pushing start button. Let me look at the... the fucking... There you go. Yeah, you can't access the start menu until it finishes saving or loading. Really, really fucking annoying, because you know how long it takes to save for some reason. That's where we started. What's this? That's sort of, yeah, that fits. Towering spires and blah blah blah. Yeah, that works. It actually updated my objective, so I'm assuming I'm right. Can you drive to this one? I'm hoping that most of these places will be, like, nearby. Just for the sake of convenience and nothing else. Your he keeps mementos from all his victims. This guy needs to be taken out of circulation. He takes pleasure at stringing us along. Demonstrating how much smarter he is. We are paint it. Oh, the car's made of marble now, or something. Genius. Coming for you. Don't know if you guys, you guys can actually see that, though. I'll do some more slow pans as we do drive around later. You see what I mean? Half time to turn the colour back on just to see what the car looks like, but I'm presuming it's black, so not really any point. Yeah, cutscene, I was right. I'm presuming I have to go right up to the uh, the vaulted spire or whatever they call this. And naturally, of course, because this is coal, should I go inside and use proper access to the roof? Nope. I'll climb a drain pipe. Because Cole's been reading far to me issues of Spider-Man Noir, apparently. Really wish I could actually afford to buy that. It, from what I've sort of, you know, read in reviews, it looks really interesting. Oh well. Uh, this way, I guess. Forward is as good a way as any. There's scaffolding over there to my right as well. I'm ready to get up that. Can I just climb the sides of it? Nope. Corbot refuses to recognise that as a climbable object. Okay. Do I need a ladder or some such else? Or roof access. Nope, because that's just a texture, that's not actually a door, that's just a painting of a door. Something they did back in the uh, 40s and the 50s to save cash, or so I'm told. Just paint doors instead of actually put them in. Okay. It's a pain I didn't walk all the way around the outside unnecessarily. Oh boy, the balancing mechanic's back again for no reason. 
a gaff. Well, at least this time he actually gives an indication that he's going to fall instead of just instantly falling. That's, that's a little bit better at least. It's ladder. Not really much to say in the sequence, I gotta say. I'm not chasing anyone, I'm not solving any clues or puzzles, I'm literally just sort of walking around. Hopping back and forth over very bit, various bits of the environment, you know? Doubling up my own sentences for no particular reason. I'll say, yeah, so I'm tired and fed up, so. What can I say? It's not been a good couple of days. Not for me, at least, anyway. Oop. Balance. Balance. Sometimes a step backwards is a step in the right direction. How we justify the fact I'm walking around the edge of the building unnecessarily, is it? Yeah, if it turns out that the place I need to get to is like right next to where I started, I couldn't just turn around and hop over there for some arbitrary bollocks reason. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be too happy. To be quite honest with you, Carl. And it is, I'm basically like half a level up from where I started. I could have got here in seconds. By just turning around and stepping over the barricade. Instead of walking all the way around. Indulging your taste for retro park here. Right. Clues and things. Clues and puzzles and solutions and murders to capture. Oop. Bing bing. Walk around and mash the A button. X button even. You know what I mean. Ripped from Antonia's necklace. Mm hmm. We're not just getting clues, we're getting definitive proof that he was behind all the murders. Round which death laughed, sepulchred emblems of dead destruction, ruin within ruin. So this is a treasure hunt. Hmm. The wrecks beside of many a city vast, whose population the earth grew over, was mortal but not human. See they lie. Their monstrous works and uncouth skeletons, their statues and her shapes. Jammed in hard, black deep. Okay. So we're looking for something overgrown, destructible, you know, more than like human. Hmm. Something with statues as well. Okay. Okay. I'll take a gander into that. Sure, why not? Is it this time? The religious medal from the Maldonado case. The Dahlia, Moeller, Maldonado. When this gets out, we still have to find the guy, Rusty. Another poem. Well, you must have some idea, right? Come on, Phelps. We're on a roll here. Don't let me down. Did I just get a clue inside a scene there? Oh, that was it implying? Well, that's just a really, really delayed sound effect. Could be a little either or. Okay. Okay. Let me see here. Uh. What we got? Hidden vehicle. Uh. Hello. Duffy Road, Masterpiece, and. Ah, oh, there we go. Overgrown. Demolished. Uh, statue of Crucifixion of the Weeping Virgin. Virgin, you know, you know what I meant. With the words and the things that came out of my mouth. Okay, we got it. We... Assuming I'm right, that... sorry. That's a... Uh... That worked out pretty nicely, actually. Where's my car? There's my fancy car. Go. Go, just step... Oh, for God's sake, man, it's knee high! He it really just pisses me off that sometimes he just refuses to hop over small obstacles for no discernible reason. You know, whatever. Do you see what I mean here with the paint job? You can drive. Looks all mottled, like it's made of marble or something. Or perhaps just really dirty. Actually, the remote is gathered around the wheel arch, is perhaps it's just dirty, but... I, don't, I haven't actually seen a car wash yet. So I don't know. Banging up innocent men. The newspapers will crucify the guy. They won't have time to wonder about our mistakes. We'll be okay, Rusty. As long as we catch the guy. I hope you're right, Paul. Be famous And in New York.
Okay, so it turns out I was wrong. It was actually the tar pits. I mean, the only pit that clue that actually made any relevant sense was the mortal but not human, and the bit right at the end about dark pits. And this particular landmark was right on the far most western reaches of the map. So nowhere near anywhere you'd actually be looking at. Bit of a pain in the ass, but we got there in the end. In the end being the operative word. I mean, this guy has planted clues literally all over the city. This man could give Carmen San Diego a run for his money, or her money at this point. Uh, time for a tranquil trek through the treacle. Whoa. I don't know if you can actually make it out, but it's like... There's like little guideposts and walkways just underneath the surface of the dark. I try and follow these and I... Just by what's being said, if I stand still too long, I'm going to sink into the tar and die. I'm gonna ask why Cole's bothered to put his hat back on. Unless he's hoping that if he does sink, they'll be able to sort of dig down from where the hat floats on the surface. At least recover the body. It's like a marker. A stylish grave marker. No, don't make a fuss, Cole. It's not that bad. In fact, this is surprisingly easy, all considered, really. I'm half tempted to go see if there's anything else hidden out here in the marshes. Not overly tempted, perhaps, but tempted. Steady. Again, we should walk off the edge there as I turned around. Thanks to Cole's tank controls. Right. Should be a letter or something hidden around here then, surely? Perhaps over here in the open? No. Nope. That's kind of, kind of lucky we didn't have a windy day and stuff didn't just blow away, you know? There we go. Ah, it's, um, Teresa, was it? Shoe? White shoe slaying and all that? I can get the camera to... One of Teresa Terrelson's shoes. Yeah, there you go. Bloody hell. A sphere which is as many thousand spheres. Okay, where to now? Now, I've seen that when I was looking around. Uh, there's a big globe thing in the art museum, I want to say. So now you're just reading out the parts that are that are actually germane to the glue. Thank you, Cole. An open-toed white shoe, and another stands upon the pole. Oh, I really thought that hobo bun did the perils to Rob. Confessions from the insane aren't the most credible evidence, Rusty. Is this thing over? Yeah, I think. It's all part of his power over us, making us run round all over the city for the bums he's leaving. So if we keep this up, we can find the guy? Well, eventually. Assuming he doesn't get bored and just stop leaving clues and go back to murdering. Yeah, I'm, I'm reasonably certain this one is um, this one is the art museum. Never get a chance to actually look at my menu when it finishes saving. There we go. Just in time for me to get to the car too. Right, art museum, art museum, art museum. Okay, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Sphere within a sphere, hidden inside the uh, the rose garden. Sweet. So it's be a celestial model. You know, sun and planets and all that, arranged in three dimensions. Be glad this isn't our car. We're tracking well, car all over it. Out for women in bars who've had too much to drink. Who are emotionally disturbed. He just shows her the cry on, he plies them with booze. Probably offers them a lift home. Then beats their brains out and strangles them. Yeah, any schmo hanging out in bar. No, not anyone. He displays the bodies, leaves us messages. For all the violence, it's very controlled behavior. Hmm. Yeah. Psychopathy is slightly different than random murder. A lot more planned, methodical for a start. Let's get that cutscene though. Let's know I'm going to the right place. Flashbacks of bloody Resident Evil 4 now. 
At least there's no irritating midget scampering around, camply informing me of my impending doom. On it goes. What do you think we'll reach the end of this thing? Alright. Maze this way. So I'll pick up the pace, Rusty. You stand to use a few pounds, you know. His mother would be proud of him catching all those. Check the map, map says dead ahead. I think the maze is relatively small, there's always that. You ever been in here, Gallo? No. I have no intention of going in. I heard that thing's tricky. Uh, I think that's the developers admitting they couldn't even get their own AI to walk around properly. Good. Black Sniper Eaters online. Hooray! <laughs> oh god, clunky tank controls in tight corridors and narrow turns. This is going to be tedious. Yeah, there you go. And turn. Oh fuck. Turn. It's like slaloming, it really is. What's that old rule for going around mazes? Hug the left. Basically what we gotta do here. Oop. Should I go? No, keep hugging the left. Stick to your own rules, don't give up halfway through. You know what you're doing. Sort of. Cole, stop. He's not kissing the bush. Now is not the time for that. Wait you get home. Hug the left, hug the left, hug the left. Think I might have actually turned myself entirely around. Cole, what are you... I'd actually let go of the controls at that point. I thought he was actually in a phase through the bush then. Like, God damn it, Cole. Hug the left, hug the left. And... Ha! Fuck! Shut up, Rusty. Go sit down. I got this. Okay, so... I think we were doing okay when we started off hugging the left, but... I think I know where I went wrong. It was that little... bit where we could have gotten into a smaller area, wasn't there? If I go... Cole, stop it. If we go back there... Then we should be okay. Uh, crap. Okay, um... This way. Picking random directions at this point. Uh, ooh, fuck. Can't see. Can't turn the camera fast enough. God damn it. I just about to walk back on myself again. I have sneaky suspicion I am. Now yeah, there you have it. And not once was I accosted by a chainsaw wielding Frankenstein's monster. So take that, Castlevania 64. Got a funky ring out of it, dude. Pretty gaudy ring, but belonging to Celine Axford Henry. Oh, the um, the pilot chick, yeah. That goes back that far, huh? Thrones, altars, judgment seats, presents. No, it couldn't be. Thrones, altars, judgment seats, presents. Where she man were born? Scepters, tiaras, swords change in tones. A reason wrong, get witness. The ghost of a no more remembered fame. Why does that sound familiar? Something we've dealt with that involves swords. See? Are you kidding me? I found Celine Henry's ring. You took Cole's better problem night to get back out of that maze. How did we not catch this nut He's a detective, don't you know? There's something that's no more remembered fame. Oh, Julia Thingobob. I can't remember her last name. The um, the aging tart. The one who's got like a, a crime boss for her husband. Something to do with the movies. Hmm. I'll figure this out.